Bucciolati are fruit-filled Sicilian cookies, and their variations are numerous. Today, I'm filling my Bucciolati with a delicious combination of pecans, figs, and raisins. These cookies pack a huge punch when it comes to flavor and texture. So in your fruit processor, combine your dry ingredients first. Four cups of all-purpose unbleached white flour. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. It's so easy to use these glass canisters. I love these for storing uh, all my dry ingredients. One teaspoon, of course, salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. So these are the dry ingredients. Now pulse so that everything gets well mixed. Hear a little crackling, that's the sugar. There, and now you add two sticks of unsalted butter that's chilled, cut into small pieces. These are like quarter inch little cubes. And the butter is very chilled, very important. And you cut it in as you would in a pat brise, just until it, they are very small pieces. Just watch, you want it to have a little bit of texture. I think that's good. Add three large eggs and two tablespoons of whole milk. And don't forget, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And the zest of a half an orange. I've already zested. But when you use one of these rasp graters, you get a very fine, beautiful zest. And you just knock it off, just like that. Very easy way to zest. And then pulse again. and process until the dough comes away from the sides of the food processor. There, I think that looks very well mixed. Wouldn't it be nice if all dough was this easy? There, that looks, oh, perfect. Just perfect. So we want to now create two small rectangles of dough in plastic wrap. And Remember, the reason that we're not making a great big ball is it's so much easier to roll out a rectangle or a square or a flat round of dough than a big ball. So get that into the refrigerator, uh, chill it at least two hours, and overnight is great. Our bucciolati today are going to be filled with a really tasty filling, half a cup of honey, a quarter of a cup of the best brandy, one cup of figs, one cup of raisins, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, the zest of the half an orange that's left from your dough, and approximately a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Process this. and add one and a half cups of pecans. They're coarsely chopped and they're toasted. And add those in and chop them just a little bit more. There, that should do it. Lovely mix. And now, using moist hands, measure out about a quarter of a cup of the filling and place it on a piece of plastic wrap. This makes 10 long logs of filling. And then roll this like a snake. You need these to be 10 inches long. It's a little messy, but it will happen. <laughs> Just pull it until it's the right length. These are going to be frozen so that they will fit inside the dough. And by chilling in the freezer, these will be much easier to work with. Here is the chilled dough. Roll this into a large rectangle, 10 by 15. And I think you'll enjoy rolling on parchment instead of a surface that it might stick to. And now we're going to cut this dough into five equal strips. So I've placed the fig filling right on our strips. And now we have to encase the filling with the dough. 
So this can be rolled up over the filling. And the seam should be on the bottom. Ultimately, they will look like this. And these have been in the freezer. Now let me show you how you form the cookies. So each of these rolls, filled rolls, you can see the filling, are cut into five equal pieces of about two inches each. Use a sharp knife to do this, and each one of these gets two slits with the point of the knife, equal slits. And put those on parchment lined baking sheet. It's a beautiful, beautiful cookie. And this recipe makes 50 cookies. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and these bake for 18 to 20 minutes. Rotate halfway through the baking. So now to gild the lily, make a glaze of two egg whites, beat them up with two and a half cups of confectioner's sugar, and mix in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just makes a nice simple glaze that's easily piped onto the cookies using a pastry bag and small round tip, or you can just use a little paper cornet too if you don't have a round tip. And when they're dry, arrange them on a pedestal like this and wait until you taste them. This is a cookie you'll definitely want to add to your repertoire and your family will thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>